Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of March, so get ready to be bored, cause this is Vlarch. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to March 16th. It is my brother's birthday today. Oh my gosh, I need to wish him a happy birthday. Today started off a little stressful. It's shockingly, it's Monday and I thought, well, everything's shut down. So everything's gonna be shut down. It'll be like a weekend, but that is not what happened. I woke up to a million emails and text messages from people who are like, I need these answers to these emails and these contracts. And I'm like, whoa, I thought we were on lockdown, but I guess. Okay, you can come for me. So I had a bunch of work to do this morning. I still have a bunch more work to do. I have a brand deal to do today that I'm excited about. And what else am I doing today? Panicking about the coronavirus. Oh, I lost my camera. So now that is why I haven't filmed yet. It's two in the afternoon. I'm still my PG, my PGJs. Whoa. Not a word. Um, but I'm still in my PJs and I lost my camera. I was looking for it everywhere. And I finally found it. I was sitting on it. It was literally underneath this furry thing on this chair. So that's really cool. Really entertaining story, Colleen. You should tell it again. I'm gonna go. Bye. What are we gonna wear today? It doesn't matter cause nobody will see me. Do you guys feel like that? I feel like it's so pointless to get dressed. No one's gonna see me. Who cares? Ugh. I mean, Fabletics for the win. Yes, I do brand deals for them on Instagram. Sometimes I hate, this is not a brand deal. I just really do like Fabletics, all right guys? It's not a It's not a freaking brand deal. They're comfortable and it's leggings with freaking pockets. What do you want me to say? I like them, okay? So I'm gonna wear them. Hello ladies and gents, it's much later in the day. We are playing, we're about to make pretzels because we don't have any bread in our house. That's one thing that we did not get before the lockdown happened. So that's something that our bread went bad. By the time we got to the stores, everything was gone. And so we didn't have any bread, but I did find some pretzel mix. We can still have some source of carbs in this house because we got pretzel mix. So we're gonna try to make that right now. Flynn loves to cook, so he will help me stir, okay? First, we have to mix this stuff. Thank you, Flynn. Flynn is already stirring. There is that. Put the pretzels in and we put in the dry yeast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stir it up. Stir it up. You want to do it? Say it, please. Good job. You're such a good helper. Good job, buddy. Good stirring. Good job three tablespoons of vegetable oil. We do not have any vegetable oil because it's another thing we ran out of before. Everyone stole everything off the shelves. So I just melted some vegan butter, which is essentially vegetable oil as far as I know. We need seven eighths warm water, which is a very strange, specific amount of water. Bread is a pain in the booty to make, y'all. Since we couldn't find any bread, anywhere, and no stores had bread, nowhere online had bread, like I couldn't do like Amazon Prime bread, there's nothing, no bread. So I was like, well maybe I'll make my own bread. I'll buy a bread mixer and we'll just make our own bread during the quarantine. So I put like a bread maker, like one of the big machines that makes bread. I put that in my account to buy, into my cart. I looked to buy the bread mixes to make the bread in like that you buy for the bread makers, all sold out. So other people have the same idea as me for this quarantine. So no bread for us, but I did find this pretzel mix. So that's a fun activity. Our dough has doubled in size, which means now we need it for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, she smells yeasty. <laughs> and trust me, I know what yeast smells like. <laughs> Can anyone help me knead the dough? Can you squish it? Squish, squish, squish. <laughs> squish, squish, squish. Good job. Good job, Flynn. I think it's needed enough, I don't know. So now we have to actually make the freaking pretzels. So, hold on a second. Now we let the dough rise for 20 to 30 more minutes and then you put it in the oven. This is so much work for like literally a bite of food. Look what we learned today. That's please, can you say thank you? Say thank you. Yeah. Good boy. You learned a thank you today. Say more.
more? No. Good boy. Can you say thank you? Look at these. Eric put everything, bagel, sesame seeds on his, and mine just have salt, and they look pretty good. I'm excited to try one. Looks like it burnt a little on the bottom. No bueno. Hmm. It's not very good. Maybe it's because I use the um, vegan butter instead of vegetable oil, but I mean, it's fine. It's bread, but it's like not great, you know? Well. It was a fun activity to do with my son, so. I mean, it's not bad, it's just okay. I think my issues at the bottom is kind of burnt. I cooked them too long. Okay, I'm gonna go put them to bed. I'll see you guys a little bit later because we need to talk about my future shows. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Baby's asleep, I'm eating another pretzel. There's cat hair on it. <gasps> Gross. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> they're not terrible, they're pretty good. I just wish I didn't cook them so long. The bottom's a little too like crunchy, you know. Obviously, if you've been watching every day this month, you might have noticed, because I talked about it, that there were a few days where I didn't vlog barely at all because I was really stressed about canceling the shows in Illinois. And I didn't want to say anything until I knew for certain what was going to happen and how it was going to happen because these shows are not just up to me. There's a lot of people involved. It's not just my decision to make. I can't just say, oh, I'm canceling something and then it's done. Um, it has to go through certain people who talk to certain people who arrange certain things. I don't want to go through that again where I just am not talking to you guys for a few days because I'm stressed about figuring out what to do about upcoming shows. Obviously, everything is a mess in this world right now. And um, as far as I know, the CDC said that all large gatherings need to be canceled for the next eight weeks. And in those eight weeks, I have a show in Austin, Texas coming up. I want to postpone it because that is what has been recommended to me. And the likelihood of it getting postponed are very, very high. So I don't have any more details right now, which is why I don't like announcing these things or talking about these things because now I don't want people who were gonna go to that show to freak out and be like, well, what do I do, what do I do? Because it's not official, but I'd rather just talk about it and like say what's going on as opposed to ignoring it and then feeling like I'm keeping something from you guys. I am talking to my team. We're figuring out what's happening, uh, how to deal with it, what's gonna happen moving forward. In my mind, the Austin show will be postponed to keep you guys safe because it's in a few weeks and that is not enough time to let everything calm down from this coronavirus mess and it's not enough time to keep everyone safe involved anyone who's coming me my family your families so nothing is official don't you know start changing all your plans yet but that is probably going to happen and i'm probably going to get in a lot of trouble for saying that before it's official but they are not postponed as of right now everything is as planned but obviously i want to do what's right and what's right seems to be to postpone the show in austin but it has not been done yet so as soon as i know for more information i will tell you guys i'm most definitely going to get in trouble for saying this publicly without checking with my team first as far as the shows in boston and new york city in may they're near the end of may and I am hopeful that I can still do those. <laughs> but if I'm told it's still not safe, it's not gonna happen. I mean, they will happen, just not at those times. I'm not canceling my shows, I'm postponing them. So we do have dates for the shows in Illinois in August. We've already rescheduled them. So there are new show dates in August for the shows in Illinois. So if you wanna come to those, there are tickets available. You can go get them and you can see me in August when things are safe. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because last time it wasn't good for my brain and for my vlogging and for you guys, for me to just not say anything. I think the likelihood of my show and also getting canceled, postponed, is very, very high. I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for saying that. <laughs> cool. Baby's asleep. I'm eating pretzels for dinner because I'm too lazy to cook anything else. Maybe I'll watch a movie or something and do a craft, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, goodbye. <laughs> oh my God, my allergies. <laughs> it's so weird that like, I had so many weird preg pregnancy symptoms and someone told me once you give birth, they all go away. And that was so true. Like the second I gave birth, it was like suddenly I was myself again. But the only thing that remained was these freaking allergies. <laughs> <sighs> the only thing that remained is freaking allergies, man. I'm telling you, the worst. So, we have plenty of food, but we are trying to...
<sighs> oh my god. So we have plenty of food, but we're trying to be smart with what we're using when and how much we're eating and what we're using it on and whatever. And I was not gonna make cookies for a while because I was trying to be smart about butter and eggs, but you know what? I can't survive without cookies, guys, okay? So I'm gonna try to make a half a batch of cookies so I only use one stick of butter and one egg. I'm gonna make cookies. They're just shocking. Love, I'm only gonna make half a batch. But last time I made half a batch, they didn't taste good. I feel like you have to make the full batch in order for them to taste good, but I'm only gonna make half a batch. I'm gonna try to fix it. So I need to let this soften a little bit and make some cookies. Every vlog is the same. Here's what we eat for dinner. Here's me making cookies. See you tomorrow. Bad news, guys. I just opened up this lava lamp business. I thought I could make a fun lava lamp tonight, but it's a total rip, okay? First of all, it says that you need tonic water, which I obviously don't have tonic water at my house, and this is what you put the lava lamp in. I thought it was gonna be like a lava lamp, but instead it's just like the tiniest little plastic bottle. And the only way to make it look like this, which is all cool, is by using a black light, which when do you ever just have a black light on in your room? So this is kind of a bust. But if I do get tonic water during this lockdown, I will try it, but I highly doubt I'm gonna end up with some tonic water, so. Not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? They never turn out right when you do half a batch. They're like darker colored and flatter, but they're still gonna taste delicious. They just look disgusting. We're playing Scrabble right now, and Eric must really love me because he's letting me use the word queef feet, <laughs> which is not a word. But he'd put down feet, and I had quee, but so I put queef. Oh wait, it's not queef feet, it's queef feet. feet. That's not a word. <laughs> yes it is. I was gonna let you have queef feet, but it's queef feet. So queef feet, <laughs> it's French. Queef feet. Can I have it? No. What? Come on. <gasps> Thank you, he also let me have GI Joes. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, stupid word. So we're horrible at Scrabble, and I definitely always break the rules, so here's GI Joes. <laughs> Yam, we suck so bad. Queef feet, that's a U. Queef feet, so I can have it? Queef feet. You just get no points for it. No, I do. It 10 is a double letter score, 20. Okay, take it off. <laughs> I like queef feet. I think I should title this queef feet. Get demonetized and deleted. Oh man, we gotta go to bed, but I just wanted to tell you guys about my queef feet. I'm tired. I'll see you guys tomorrow, I hope you guys are okay. Stay safe, stay quarantined. I know I'm touching my face. Ugh. Good night.